And I figured since I've never done this and there's gonna be some changes to how I have to load the bike out, there's gonna be things I have to consider that, you know, I don't have to consider when it's just me, that I would do a little mini series. Maybe it ends up to be just being one video, I don't know. But do a little mini series about how I approached going two up on a trip for the first time. What's up? Jim here. Welcome back to J Street Moto. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time. So I mentioned it a couple episodes ago, but in case you're you know new to the channel and you haven't watched everything that I've put out, um, I do a lot of long distance traveling, but I've never done it two up. I've never taken the wife with me physically on the bike to you know go ride for three, four, five hundred miles, to spend the night somewhere, and then you know do it all over again the next day. And uh, my wife and Desi, her name's Anne Marie, by the way, my wife's name is. My wife and Desi, David's wife, had gotten together and talked about uh, this place in Andrews, North Carolina, it's kind of near Bryson City, where you can basically ride a railroad track while you're pedaling your car on the railroad track. I don't know, we're gonna video all that. But I figured, since I've never done this, and there's gonna be some changes to how I have to load the bike out, there's gonna be things I have to consider that, you know, I don't have to consider when it's just me, that I would do a little mini series, maybe it ends up just being one video, I don't know, but do a little mini series about how I approached going two up on a trip for the first time. And, and I'm gonna preface this by saying, we're probably gonna be focused more on budget consciousness, or, or it's gonna be more budget focused. Uh, I'd really like to get like a King tour pack with the wraparound thing so my wife can sit back there like, you know, like she's the queen. But uh, she's not interested in dropping 11, 1200 bucks right now. So, we're gonna try and do it with what we got. We're heading out today, I'm gonna bring you all along with me. All right, babe, where are we going and why are we going there? Ah, uh, we're heading to Cycle Gear. And what are we getting? Stuff. Come on, you know what we're going there to get. What's the big thing we gotta get there? Okay, right here. For you. Yes. Yeah. And some riding shoes. Okay, we're gonna look at riding shoes there. And? And what else? Another bag. So if you want, what we can do is we can uh, we can get we can put out everything that we're gonna bring with us. Is a good way to put it, and then see if it all fits in one bag or if we need a second one. And then if we need the second one, we can run outside from here and get the second one. All right? Or I can order it. So that was it. Just wanted to record this little thing, let you guys see the wife, know that she exists. And, uh, you know, and because, like I said, this is going to be the first time we've traveled to up for like a weekend trip. So it's going to be, it's going to be an interesting experience for both of us, I think. She's really looking forward to it, aren't you, baby? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, see you soon. So as you guys just saw in the intro to this video, uh, the wife and I have decided to take her on her first trip on a motorcycle. We went to Cycle Gear, and I do buy quite a bit from them, uh, especially stuff that I know is, um, what I'll say, consumable, meaning the things that are going to wear out, right? First thing we got her was the women's street and steel. Uh, boot. Uh, I gotta tell you, it's well made. Uh, it. What I like about it is she can lace them up one time and then just use the zipper 
to take them on and off, which is what she did. She found them comfortable, but this is the this is the second pair of riding boots that she's had. She did have a pair before because I do I do believe in covering your ankles, especially for my passengers. I don't do it all the time. I've got a pair of vans that I really like riding in that don't cover my ankles, but I do believe in her having boots on that support her ankle and that would protect it in the event that we went down. So we picked up a pair of those. I'm going to put a picture of it up right here and uh, you know let you see what it is. These were $129 retail and that's online or in the store. For those of you that haven't shopped at Cycle Gear, uh, you can, if you have one near you, you can order something online and have it shipped straight to the store. It doesn't cost you anything. Also, if you're a veteran, make sure you let them know it gets you a discount. Another thing I like about these boots, they do have armor over top of where your ankle bone would be while you're wearing the boot. So yeah, we got our those, the street and steel. And I'm gonna have pictures of everything that we bought just kind of slapping up throughout this video. So hopefully that's not disturbing. I'll also have links to everything down in the bottom in the description. The other thing we bought, and we bought two sets of these. We bought some waterproof boot covers. Uh, these particular ones are made by Built. They've got really good traction on the bottom. They completely encompass your foot. And there is a strap that latches on to kind of tighten it where it needs to be. Uh, the reason we bought two sets of these was because, for those of you that ride, you might have already figured this out. I'm kind of slow and late to the party, usually. Um, last couple of road trips we've taken, it never fails, you end up getting into bad weather. And waterproof shoes are great. They, they really are. Until your rain gear, the leg of it goes above the top of your waterproof shoe. Then the waterproof shoe just becomes a bucket, which is what happened to me the last two trips. So I finally broke down and bought a pair of these to put on before I put my rain gear on. That way, no water can get down into my shoe. Now let's talk about the rain gear we got her because we did need to get her that. I bought her the Reax Travel Jacket. Like I said, I will put a picture of it right now. Um, this is actually a pretty cool jacket in that the whole thing can fold up into itself. There's a pocket back here that you can just stuff the whole jacket into itself, zip it up. So you don't need a separate thing to carry it when you have it on the bike. And you know, rain gear's rain gear. If you want something that's waterproof, something that's not gonna be too saily or pillowy, right? You don't want something that's gonna blow out on you. But, and you want something that has some reflective touches on it, which the React stuff does. And I think it comes with a two year warranty, I think. You have to look at, you have to look at the cycle of your page. The real thing I wanted to talk about was the React Travel Pants because these things are ridiculous. I've had several different kinds of rain gear in my riding career. I've never had a pair of rain gear that literally unzips from the waist all the way to the foot. Talk about ease of putting it on when you're on the side of the road. The stuff that I currently use, and I don't remember the name of it, I, I probably should, but I don't. The zipper ends about right here. Again, these are the Reax Travel reindeer pants so that she's set up because we're gonna be going to the mountains in North Carolina. And granted, we're gonna be there in July, which means it, it's probably we're not gonna be dealing with cold weather, so I'm not really worried about it. If it does get a little chilly one day and she needs to put on an extra layer, it's a good tip for you guys too. The reindeer top works great 
at giving you an extra layer of heat because if it's keeping water out, it keeps air out. And any of you that have worn rain gear know, it's like putting a freaking hefty bag over top of you and you just sweat, especially if it's hot. So yeah, that's what we got her. She's set up now. This will be, uh, I think I'll do one more video kind of in this series associated with how we end up packing because that's gonna be an interesting thing for me. I haven't figured out how I'm gonna pack the bike yet. Hope you guys are getting out there and riding. I, I really do. Um, this is new for me. I've been, I've been doing touring on this bike for, or on Harleys for several years now. And this is the first time I'm taking a trip with the wife. So it's a new experience for us. I figured I would tape it, share it with you, because maybe some of y'all out there have wives that might want to. You know, I'm sure they want to ride with you now, but they might want to venture out a little further and maybe, you know, see some of the country from the back of the bike. Hope this has been informative. Like I said, I'll link everything down on the bottom. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share it with your friends, all that stuff's free to you. And it helps the channel. On that note, the channel's over 800 subscribers. So thank you guys. Those of you that have subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope to run into you out there one day on the road. Always ride safe. Yeah, ready? One, two, three, shoot. Ah. Asshole. Really? <laughs> Peace out, bitches! <laughs>